sweet mixing day today. Um, I've spent my morning and part of my afternoon mixing up large batches of my pouring medium. I'm actually going to try a new recipe. Um, I've seen this on several artists' channels and I'm going to see what happens with these paints. I think you can't go wrong by adding some Floetrol, but this pouring medium is going to be 60% Elmer's Glue Oil, 30% distilled water, and 10% Floetrol. Um, a couple of my paints have mixed kind of heavy, a little bit thick, like the old gold and the silver. So when my paints are too thin, I usually add a 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture to them to get them a little bit more to consistency. I don't get them very runny in the bottles because I can always add more. You can't take it away once you add it, so I just mix it um, in my bottles. I just recycle the Gatorade bottles. Um, go ahead and I pour 8 ounces. Since I'm using the Artist Loft, the 4 ounce tubes, I use 2 tubes to my bottles. These are, uh, these are 18 ounce bottles, so it gives me some room to shake. I add a marble. Put my pouring medium in that I measure, um, eight ounces to eight ounces, and then shake, shake, shake. Um, I'm gonna add up, or I'm gonna mix up some new deep green metallic white today. I did not have those. Um, excuse my sink behind you. I'm having the mix on my center island in the kitchen. Um, but I'm gonna add and make more of medium magenta, violet, light violet, light magenta, my aqua green, and I've already mixed these up. But it's a playing in paint kind of day. Oh, that's an homage to my friend Carlos Rodriguez from uh, Acrylic Flow. If you have not subscribed to him on YouTube, y'all do it. He's hilarious, he's very entertaining, he's very creative, and I love to watch him. Um, but let's play in some more paint, and let's get these paints finished up so that I can put this stuff on a canvas. Have a blessed day. Oh, another tip I wanted to remind you of before I close this. Y'all, take you some scissors. Once you empty these tubes, cut them in half. Get you a trusty tool and scrape the insides of that and put it in your bottle. Every one of these tubes, once you squeeze them out, has another ounce or so of paint in them. Don't waste that paint. Every time I see people do that and just toss those in without cleaning the insides out, it just breaks my heart because that's paint that's not on a beautiful canvas somewhere. So uh, take the time to scrape your paint out of your tubes. It's worth it. Have a blessed day, you guys. Thanks for watching. Come check me out on my YouTube channel. It is Serendipity Soul Acrylic Art. Have a blessed day. Bye.